This video is going to cover how to use the slicing tool in the Leapfrog Viewer. So once you have your 3D model open, what you're going to do is you're going to go up to the toolbar and you're going to select the Create a Slice tool. At this point, you can draw a line through the model anywhere you'd like, and it's going to create uh, a slice through that model. So for example, if we create a slice through here, we've now cut the uh, geology, the Paleozoic geology of uh, Ontario, of this model, um, right through uh, the center. So you can take a look, you can spin the model around, and you can see your slice. So you can see it's on a bit of an angle because that's what we cut it at. We didn't cut it uh, completely vertically. Um, and we can see just the uh, most uh, southwestern tip of Ontario. Uh, in order to see uh, some options about uh, the slice itself, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go up here to the Slicing Plane tab, and we're going to open that. So the first thing you'll notice is that Show Slicing Plane is checked. When you uncheck this, it's going to reveal the full model again. Uh, you'll notice that you can simulate this feature the same way by clicking this uh, slice toggle up here. So either way, clicking either of these will reveal the slice or get rid of it, depending on what you like. Here we have some viewing options for the slice. So what we have selected here is remove front. So everything in front of the slice is removed and only the, er, only the uh, layers behind the slice are shown. Uh, we can reverse this as well by clicking this, which is uh, remove back. So in this case, the, everything behind the slice we've created is removed and everything in front of the slice is shown. Uh, you can also use this, which is a uh, thick slice. And what this will do is it'll show you a slice of this thickness down here. So this is a little bit more, a little bit more niche. You probably won't need to use uh, the thick slice option, uh, but it does exist. And you can adjust, you can adjust the thickness of that slice here in the thickness setting. And as you can see, we now have a greater uh, thickness uh, for the slice. I prefer this view, so we'll uh, we'll keep it on that for now. Um, let's see. One of the other things that you're going to want to be mindful of is this move with camera option. So if you have this checked, what it'll what it will allow you to do is um, keep the slice in place and rotate the model through the slice. Um, this is a little bit more resource intensive um, and will slow your computer down significantly. So I'd recommend leaving this unchecked. Uh, as for the uh, dip uh, of the slice and uh, dip direction, um, you can manage those things here with the dip and dip azimuth. So right now, uh, our slice here has a dip of 3.84 degrees. Um, if we change this to something like, let's say 10 degrees. Uh, you'll notice it looks like this. If we change it to something like, let's say, 2 degrees. Now, uh, you might think that this, this looks much more like a 45 degree cut than a 2 degree cut. And the reason for this is because of the vertical exaggeration of the model. So what that means is um, each of the layers in this model is uh, much greater vertically uh, than they are in real life compared to the... Uh, the width or depth of the layer. So a lot of features um, in this model uh, appear much, much taller here um, than they do in real life. Uh, and this is one of the reasons why we see um, an angle that uh, uh, looks a little bit off when it comes to the dip uh, of the slice that we've created. Uh, the dip azimuth or dip direction shows us uh, uh, in which direction our slice uh, is dipping. So if we put in 90 degrees, for example, 90 degrees is due east. So you'll notice now that our cut dips directly to the east. You also have a uh, positions uh, drop down here, which allows you to adjust uh, where your slice is, what view um, your, your slice will take. So in this case, uh, if we want to view the slice um, towards the east exactly, we can click east and now we have a slice that goes right through the model um, exactly in the eastern direction. So the same, you can do the same thing um, with some of the other options uh, as well as align to camera. So if we click align to camera, now uh, from the perspective that we were that we're at, it creates a completely vertical cross section there. Um, you can also move uh, this slice manually um, with this distance and step feature. So every time you click step, you'll move the slice through the model 
at this many units. Uh, those are the main features of the slicing uh, plane tool. Um, so hopefully this helps get you started with uh, being able to create slices.